Hey guys, Mr. Johnston here. Once again, we're gonna do another uh, mechanical gear set. Uh, so make sure you have your uh, pamphlet. And then um, I want you to turn to page two. No, page three. Page three, and we're doing the bevel gear assembly. Bevel gear assembly. Okay, so get ready and get your stuff. All right. The first thing that really you're going to need to make sure that you have are two of, of these guys, these brackets, or uh, these are sometimes called gearboxes, but generally that, those are the smaller ones. Um, if uh, you have one big one and one smaller one, you'll be fine with that. Uh, if uh, You just want to make sure you have at least one big one. Okay, so let's talk about the bevel gears for a second. Bevel gears, they are at an angle. Okay, they go at an angle. So if you had gears right next to each other, they would be just like that. If they were at a 90 degree angle, they would be like that. But these are not quite at a 90 degree angle. They're actually more like a 45, which is like halfway between 90. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place one of these things down, and I'm gonna take the other one, and if I was at a 90, it would be like that, but it's not a 90, it's a 45. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, not really have to be, it doesn't have to be really perfectly exact. And then I'm gonna put a screw in, okay, and kind of swing it around to where another screw will go in easily. Okay, it needs to go in easily. All right, that works. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple screws through the other one. It doesn't really matter where, as long as you put two, it should hold it pretty good. Okay, now the trick is to hold it off of the desk. Hold it off the desk so that you can keep everything upright, hold the screw down, and then take a nut, one of these kept nuts, underneath and screw it on. and find a couple of shafts. Okay, I got a couple shafts right here. And I'm gonna put these bevel gears onto the shafts. I'm gonna kinda see how they fit in here. So yeah, probably about like that. Looks like it might work. Okay. So I've got my kind of my plan. So I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna put this guy right here. That'll pack. Of, but then that's going to move around. So you're going to have to play with, you're really going to have to play with how, uh, you know, where you position things. And that's really, this is just a, it's just a learning uh, thing, learning curve. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I think I'm going to move this one back here to the middle hole of the bearings. Pull this forward. Now it's meeting up. Yeah, it meets up good like that. Okay, I'm gonna put the shaft collar right there. Notice there's no binding, it turns fine from 
anyone I spin, I can shake it and it doesn't go anywhere. No pieces are falling off or anything. That is uh, a good build. All right. And it's kind of interesting. I could even have this drive two different things. And if I needed to go from here to a drive like that, there's all kinds of different things you can do. But that is a Bevel Gear.